Hello my beautiful babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Crystal Marie. Today I filmed this makeup tutorial on this look right here. Whew, I'm obsessed with the way it came out. I'm living for this pink eye and this like kind of like light wash of like a crystally aqua color. Love it. With the bold, dark, gray, purple lip, I love this combination. Today I use this palette right here. This is the My Little Pony palette. My Little Pony is coming for edges. This turned out so beautiful. Look at how gorgeous this palette is. I'm gonna be using this palette way more because this screams like spring, summer, probably still do it in fall, you know I don't care. So if you are not subscribed already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. I would love to have you. We talk a lot, we inspire each other. It gets ratchet here sometimes. Let's jump right into this makeup tutorial. The first thing I'm gonna do is spray my face with my Pixie Glow Mist. I absolutely love, I mean, you can tell. You can tell, I've been using it. For primer, I'm gonna be using the Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. Physician's Formula is not too affordable because I was gonna be like, this is an affordable primer. It's a drugstore primer, but this costs me about like $12. So just be aware of that. It's not super cheap, but it is good. For my base makeup, I'm using the Cos RX Clear Fit Blemish Cushion. I actually used this um, a few videos back in a style Korean haul that I did. I don't like using the little, like, the little, I don't know what it's called, but I don't like using it. So I just get my damp sponge and I kind of just press it in and that's what I use. This shade is a little light on me or a lot of light on me. I can't really tell how it looks in the camera, but in person, it's a little light on me. So I basically just kind of use like a cream bronzer and that kind of evens everything out for me. I'm gonna be using my Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum as my concealer and brightener under the eyes. I am using the color, I think it's called, why was I looking at the wand? I think it's called Custard. Yeah, it's called Custard. I'm putting it down here because I like how that blends out better. I get a lot of creases under my eye, so if I put it up really, really, really high, it kind of sits in the crease and it creates a bunch of like little lines and I don't want that. So I kind of just put it down there and then I'm gonna put a little bit on the center, on the chin, keep it bow, around the nose and the sides of the mouth. That looks so cute. Now I'm gonna grab the same damp beauty sponge and I'm gonna go and blend it out. This is one of my favorite concealers. It blends out so, 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 so nice. It's not like super affordable, but it's not bad. It's not bad. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer is like $30. And this one, which is comparable to it, is uh, $14. And it blends out really pretty and I really like it. Those line, that line that I get, you guys have probably noticed it like in pictures or videos. That's just how my face is. It's not that I have dark under eyes or anything. It's just, that's just how my face is. You see, it's kind of like a little like under eye it's crease thing. For my cream bronzer, I'm using my absolute favorite cream bronzer contour. It totally depends how it looks on your skin. But for me, it's like a nice combination of the two. This is the Fenty Beauty Stick in Mocha. You see how the foundation kind of goes setting into the skin, how it kind of goes matching when i first put it on it looks super super light well not super super kind of like a couple shades lighter i imagine it looks worse on camera than it does in person but you see how it kind of just goes setting into the pores and it goes matching much better so anyways i'm gonna get this cream bronzer and i'm gonna put it on my forehead like that on the cheekbones and then bring it a little up now with the same damn sponge, I'm gonna blend, it sounds like I said the same damn sponge, the same damp sponge, I'm gonna blend everything out. I have like a little burn here. It looks like I burned myself with a flat iron, but I don't remember burning myself. So strange. That blends out so easily. That took no effort at all. I'm obviously not done blending it out, but it just took no effort. Our face is warmed up. Now with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and this brush right here, I'm gonna grab just a teeny bit, about that much, maybe maybe less, and I'm going to start just lightly tapping it over the areas 
where I want to set. So for that, for me, that would be the under eyes and where I cream bronzed. If you have dry skin like me, you wanna go a little light on the powdering because it can get like crusty and uncomfortable on your skin. I'm gonna go over my eyelids also to kind of set the foundation that I put on there. So that when we put eyeshadow over, it doesn't skip and it blends out well. I'm gonna go into my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer with a nice fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna contour my eyes. I normally don't do that. Um, not too much on my channel, I really don't. I kinda just skip it because I feel like people would kinda be like, why are you doing that? But I like to do that usually when I kinda know I'm not gonna put a lot of makeup up there and I like to put some shadow. You see how like this looks a little more flat than this already? Oh, I was gonna dip it into the foundation, fantastic. Some people like to go all the way down and contour their nose. I'm not a big nose contourer, really I'm not. The most I do is this right here to create a shadow under the nose to kind of give the illusion of like a lifted point of the nose. And then I like to contour under the lip. It gives the illusion of a really heavy bottom lip. And then with a really nice powder brush, I love this one because it's kind of flat, you see, but it is really wide. I don't know, I really like it. This is from Eco Tools. I'm gonna go into that same butter bronzer and I'm going to just tap over the areas where I put the cream bronze. Lately for brows, I've been using my Benefit Cabral Pomade religiously, you guys know that, but I received this brow brush and I also received um, this eyeliner, which I'm gonna try both today, but they're like rattling, they sound like maracas. So I'm gonna try out this eyebrow brush from Iris Beauty. This packaging is so stunning. It's like a really nice matte black, so thank you guys for sending that to me. They also sent me contact lenses, which I tried putting on and for some reason, like I saw like gray. I don't know if maybe they don't fit me. I don't know. This is pigmented and I personally, this is my first time using brow pencils that have like the point like really thick. I normally like either on an angled brush or I like the brow whiz which is like really, 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 really thin. So this personally is not like my style but if you are into brow pencils that have that type of like definer point then you'll like it um this also is a little red toned this specific color i don't know what color this is and now i'm using my essence make me brow gel to keep the brows in place for my eyeshadow i'm gonna use this guy right here this is my little pony can you believe that this is a my little pony palette what this is a My Little Pony collaboration with ColourPop. Look at these colors. Oh, I'm for sure gonna use this palette way more in my channel because these colors are gorgeous. Like, look at these shimmers. But today I'm gonna be using this guy right here and this one right here. Kind of like a little simple, purpley, smoky thing. So I'm going into this color right here. This is Sky Dancer. And I'm just picking it up with my brush to then pat it on my eyelid that looks like a bubblegum purple pink so pretty this color as you go building it up and patting it in you want to go moving up not too high i'm going to keep this very low in the crease but you want to go just kind of building it up slightly just blending it with your brush this is a really nice pastel-y soft color it can be kind of like retro-y. I feel like it depends the look you wear it with. I'm not even sure what lip color I'm doing today, so this can go any direction. Then before that kind of sets on my eyelids, I'm gonna grab a more precise blending brush. This is a Sigma E25, and I'm going into this color right here. This is the color Applejack. That's a cute name, Applejack. Oh, I didn't even realize these names are so cute. Butterscotch, Blossom, Starshine, Bluebell, Flutterby, Minty, Sky Dancer, Applejack, Twilight, Firefly, Snuzzle, Princess Park. Are these, are these their names? I imagine they are. So with that color, I'm kind of meeting it where the purple kind of ends and then where my skin begins and I'm blending that out. I'm keeping it right there. I'm not going to drive it upward too much. I'm keeping it right where I stopped the purple. Then I'm going to grab a clean-ish, clean-ish blending brush and I'm going to lightly go over that 
this is just to ensure that everything kind of blends out oh my god this hair it's getting in my eyeballs so i did a thing this is the thing i put a little bit of that icy color on the lid look how cool it looks so pretty right Ooh, it looks so pretty like ethereal so i'm gonna grab that like icy aqua color it's called snuzzle and i just grabbed a little bit on my look at that I grabbed a little bit on my finger and I kind of like took off the excess, which doesn't make a difference. She's super pigmented, but I took off the excess so it didn't go on like too harsh. And this is what I did. I put it like right in the center, but like I'm going like lightly. And then I kind of just started tapping it all over the eyelid. I want the concentration to be in the middle, not everywhere. You get me? So I just smudge it in the middle kind of rub it in with my finger almost like if it was like a halo eye i just want the most light to hit that center so that you see like i mean you can see it from all angles but it's mainly there i like it it's like eyeshadows for like magical creatures and fairies <laughs> it looks so pretty right i look like such a weirdo on the camera i'm like but it looks so pretty and i just like seeing the light with this tiny little blending brush, I'm going back into the pink color Sky Dancer and I'm going to blend it into the outer part of my lower lash line. This is a really bomb palette. It works so well and it's so cute and the colors are so like 2018 springy summery, right? Is it just me? Like they look so like summery. I love them. And springy. Whoa, this is so pigmented and black. Wow. For my eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Iris Beauty Ultra Definition Eyeliner and I'm gonna create a conservatively sized wing. While I was putting this to charge, not this, this to charge, I was I put the eye pencil of Lorac in my lower waterline. It is the color plum. For lashes today, I'm gonna be using my favorite drugstore lash. Well, I feel like they're my favorite like wearable wispy drugstore lashes. These are the Ardell Faux Mink Wispies. So pretty, so natural looking. I love them so much. While my lashes dry, I'm gonna use one of my favorite highlighters. This is the Too Faced Candlelight Glow. It's, I don't even know how to explain it because it has pink, but then it has this little like crystally one, but it's not an iridescent color. It's just so pretty. This was one of my first like bomb highlighters that I bought. And I'm using the It's My Ray Ray number four. This is a great highlighting brush for like picking up a lot of product. Look at how. Let me see if I get closer if it stops. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Never mind. The camera's like not picking that up, but it is so pretty. It's like a really nice, like champagne y gold no like a champagne white gold does that make sense i have no idea but it's literally like that it's so pretty and looks really really nice on the skin Woo! she's glowing she's glowing over that i'm gonna put a little bit of the pixie glow mist i'm gonna use my to my toriel <laughs> I'm gonna use my L'Oreal telescopic mascara to coat my lashes and then I get my lash curlers and I give them a very light few squeezes just so they can kind of fuse together and they look like one because I like to deceive people and make them think I these are my bomb lashes just kidding there's no way people are gonna be like oh those are her lashes I mean maybe you know how some people out there are like, oh, I love a girl that wears no makeup. And then some of us can see the picture and we're like, there's a lot of makeup there. You know, maybe those people, maybe those people we could deceive. For my lip color, I'm going to go a little dark and moody. This is a bit of like a gray purple. This is the color 44 from Sephora's Cream Lip Stains. Sephora's Cream Lip Stains are like moussey, comfortable liquid lipsticks. And for me, I love them like... They feel so comfortable. They're my probably one of my favorite formulas and I totally recommend them. This is the finished look. What do you guys think? I love it. I'm obsessed. 
This is gorgeous. I can't wait to take selfies and post them on my and post them on IG. This is so pretty. Hoo, 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 hoo. It is such a pretty like pink with like that like bluey icy and then like the dark gray like purple lips. I'm just I'm living. I love this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you love this makeup look, if you enjoyed the tutorial, give this video a thumbs up, please. I would really, really, really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. What you think? And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.